matter is better than the beginning of it, says the wise man in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 8. Blessed viewer, we have come to the end of the fourth quarter of the year 2020. And it is our prayer and we believe that you have been blessed. We have a testimony to share that many times we used to prepare this lesson just for the sake of presenting it to you. But over time we have realized that it is more than just presenting it to you because a transformation has happened even within our hearts. At this moment, we will have our opening prayer from Pastor Makada. We thank you, our Heavenly Father, for once again this opportunity. Dear Lord, as we discuss your word, be with us and also prepare our hearts as well as the viewers and listeners wherever they are. We ask more of your Holy Spirit and above all prepare us for your soon coming. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <coughs> Prof, heaven, education, and eternal land. Uh, which heaven is this, Professor? Yes, um, in the Genesis of 1 verse 1, we found that when God created, He created the heavens mm. and the earth. Mm. So God not create only one heaven, He created many heavens, okay. um, many dwelling places. And then um, in Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 6, He yes. says, uh -huh. You alone are the Lord. Mm. You have made the heaven, mm. the heaven of heavens. Yep and with all their hosts, mm. the earth and everything on it, mm. the seas and all that is in them, and you preserve them all. The hosts of heaven worship you all. Mm. So when God created, he created many heavens, mm. many dwelling places, mm. and the heaven of heaven, yes. the place where God himself dwells, mm -hmm. okay? and this also this earth is known as heaven. Yes. So heaven is just a place of, of, of stay mm. where human beings or beings dwell. Yes. There, there are many. Actually, some say that about one third mm. of the starry sky is habitable. Oh. And some of the suns of the stars we see are suns, mm. illuminating some worlds. Some mm. of them are habitable. Wow. So God created this heaven of ours, mm. okay? And then he created the heavens where others stay, yes. where he put beings, and those beings were supposed to be educated by God himself. Right. So God was the first teacher, mm. before sin. Yes. So in every dwelling place where God created, he put beings. And he's the teacher there. Teacher there. Okay? So time will come again when this heaven mm. will be recreated. Mm -hmm. And then when we shall be continually educated by God himself, Jesus Christ and the angels, okay. that time is coming throughout the world, mm -hmm. eternity, throughout the world time, where we shall sing forever and ever. Mm -hmm. On this earth we die, but that, uh, that world we shall not die forever. Mm -hmm. God himself will do part. Of your teacher. So Prophet saying the heaven of heavens. Yes. Yes, there is heaven of heavens where God dwells. Where we shall go. When we leave this earth, we shall go to the heaven of heavens. Mm. Okay? Uh, the, 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 the headquarters of the universe. Right. Yeah. But ultimately, this earth will be the headquarters of the universe mm. because God Himself will bring His headquarters here. Wow. Yeah, we shall see that in the book of Revelation. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, blessed viewer, we welcome you to join us as we explore the topic heaven, education, and eternal learning. At this moment, we will get our memory verse from Badam Tunji. Badam Tunji, memory verse. <laughs> You're emphasizing the memory, memory part, verse. and uh, I don't know how you got me on that one. Memory verse. First Corinthians. L let me take each and every one of us there. Uh -huh. Chapter 2, verse 9. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, yes. But as it is written, uh -huh. I has not seen, no ear had, no have entered into the heart of man oh. the things God has prepared mm. for those who love him. Love him. Right. And Brother Mtunji, by having that verse mm. in memory, mm. it only tells me that you long for heaven. Do you? Do you? I, I do long for heaven. And many reflections come even as we discuss mm. today's lesson. Yes. And you know, he's been talking about the heavens. And mm. 
you know we are out in the open we can even see above us and yet we can't see far that is true but the mind should go where paul is telling the corinthians and us mm. to start imagining of that place mm. the place of promise so that we may be excited we may be moved mm. to think about that place true. where god wants to take us yeah. where the mind the eye cannot imagine mm. or even the ear we, we've not had this one and yet we need to hear it Indeed. we've not seen it but yet we need to see it. and that is where the lord has prepared mm. for those who love him. and i pray all of us yeah. will be in that law mm. and even the dear viewer there. Amen. yes yes most of our view amen. and that's all amen. amen blessed viewer are you ready for the hereafter will you be there will i be there it is my prayer for the lord who help us to be there professor baliage what is the fate of the dead yeah actually every group of people uh, every culture has a thought about the dead mm. okay and also have a thought about heaven the place where people don't die the mm. place where people stay some people believe that when people die they go into another world where they live their souls live mm. and if you listen to people crying tradition of people crying they will be mentioning farewell greet them mm. say this and that so people believe that when we die we go somewhere but the bible tells us that when we die yes. we go nowhere we go to the ground mm. the soil where we stay until jesus comes yes when jesus comes the second time to take us now those graves will open okay and go to where god dwells but Jesus promised, and he started with, the, with the Nicodemus yes. in John 3.16, mm. that for God so loved the world, yes. that he gave his only begotten Son, mm -hmm. who so ever believes in him, should not perish, mm. but have everlasting life. Mm. So, Jesus said that whoever believes in him, yes. at the end of the journey, mm okay will receive eternal life but that eternal life was prepared by jesus himself jesus the one who gave it he gave us his life yes. at that time at the day of resurrection mm. we shall now actualize it mm. we shall have it fully also the, the, the disciples talked about it mm. and john um before we go to the disciples jesus said yes in john uh, 6 34 mm. that whoever eats my flesh mm and brings my blood okay has eternal life. has eternal life how do we eat the flesh of jesus christ and drink his blood mm. the flesh of jesus christ is the body of jesus christ mm. the body of jesus christ is the church, the church. okay if we are part of the church of jesus christ mm. okay and we believe in the life that jesus has given us okay and his life becomes our, our, our life you know blood is life his life becomes our life, life his character becomes our character mm. okay we shall have eternal life at the end of the day mm. so what we are doing today going to church worshiping mixing with others fellowshipping we are preparing ourselves of what we shall be doing in heaven mm. heaven will be a place where we shall mix with each other mm. okay we shall talk to each other we shall worship god praising god all the time and also doing other many things yes so he talks of eternal life. He is preparing for us eternal life so that the life that we have will end when he comes and then we have eternal life. Also, mm -hmm. uh, in John, um, 1 John chapter 5, verse 13, mm -hmm. uh, the apostle John said that, I have written them, the things that I have written to you, yes. who believe in the name of the Son of God, mm -hmm. so that you may continue, mm -hmm. you may know that you have life and you may continue believing yes. in his name, mm. the name of the Son of God. Son of God. He's writing it to us who believe mm. in God, so that we may continue believing, because we know that in that Jesus Christ, we have eternal life. Mm. Yeah. So Jesus brought to us eternal life. Mm. And when we live, those people who raise the first resurrection when Jesus comes, mm. will go to heaven, will stay there for 1,000 years, will come on this earth, this earth will be cleaned and made new. They will stay here forever and ever and ever. Mm. You see, 
If you live 1,000 years and die, still yes. you have died. <laughs> if you live 2,000 years, you, you die, still you will die. Yes. Like the devil. The devil has lived for so many years, we don't know how many, True. but he will die. True. But that light mm. is a light that will not end. But according to me, the most important thing yes. is that it's not the, 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 the eternal life. Mm. Okay? Mm. <laughs> according to my thinking, it's not eternal life. Uh. It is uh, that thing which uh, Revelation says yes. in the book of Revelation, mm. okay, uh, chapter 21 mm. and verse 22, where he said that, but now I saw, but I saw no temple okay. in it, in mm. the city, mm. okay, for the Lord God Almighty, yes. the Lamb, mm. are in the temple. Mm. The city had no need of the sun mm. or the moon mm. to shine mm. in it. For the glory of God mm -hmm. illuminated it. Mm -hmm. The lamp is the light. Mm -hmm. So the most important thing of me to me yes. is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. In that city, oh. Jesus will be there. Mm -hmm. Jesus is our brother, is our savior, is mm -hmm. our God, he's mm -hmm. everything. He'll be there. Mm -hmm. And we shall be happy in that city because he's there. Because if you go to the city, you go maybe to Nairobi, which is closer to us, or to New York, mm -hmm. or to Harare, or good cities like Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. Okay? You go there and you know nobody. The city True. is nothing. Mm. Okay, the city is nothing. The beauty is nothing. The food is nothing. The streets are nothing. The vehicles are nothing. But when you know someone there who mm. will welcome you, and this will be the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, mm. oh, we shall be happy forever because we shall have eternal life mm. with eternal Father forever. And ever. Yes, yes, both that makes sense. Um, Jesus Christ is a temple. Is a light. Is our friend. Uh, Brother Mtunji, mm. we long for this new existence, <laughs> new existence, and it seems today all verses are said from memory, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you know, we long for a time when uh, that, that scripture will be mm. all written on our minds, True. and I, I pray that today is today, Today's mm. you know, <laughs> and you, you began it right there. Yeah. But the, the Lord is in the business mm. of making everything new, Yes. and he wants to start even today mm. by making our lives new but let's first talk about that time right. and i'll take us to the book of uh, second peter second peter yes second peter chapter 3 verses 10 mm -hmm. uh, to 13 mm. and even as we put our hand off right on that text l let me reflect on what is going on yeah. do we really want to continue with the way things are in this world Mm, haven't we battled this year with a lot you know the, the pandemic that has been raging mm. and uh, you know we are starting to see light at the end of the tunnel as we see promises of the vaccine here and there mm. but even before the pandemic there has always been a lot that humanity has been battling sure. even i mean these opportunities and a lot of hope around mm. death mm -hmm. has been all of us sure. sickness pain mm. uh, you know, lack of of jobs, yeah. conflict and strife. Mm. So as it is, no one would want this to continue as mm. it is. No wonder humanity, even those who don't believe in God, yeah. are always looking forward for a new order of things. Mm. For a world where things are better, where we have more jobs, we have mm. more opportunities, True. the healthcare is able to take care of the kind of sicknesses we are suffering from. Mm. No wonder then a new existence yes. is something that when we think about, mm -hmm. we want to pause and wonder, what is this? Can we be part of it? Oh. So that is where now Peter comes in. Second Peter chapter 3, verses 10 mm -hmm. to 13. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief yeah. in the night, mm -hmm. in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, mm -hmm. and the elements will meet with fervent heat, both the earth and the works that I need will be burned up. Yeah. The civilization that, like we know it, mm. even as better as it looks to become, it yes. will all be done with. Mm. Therefore, since all the things will be dissolved, mm -hmm. what manner of persons mm -hmm. ought you to be in holy conduct mm -hmm. and godliness? godliness? I know some verses even bring this out better. Mm. I mean some versions. Looking for and hastening the coming of the day of the Lord. Mm because of which the heavens will be dissolved, being on fire, and the elements will be melted with fervent heat. Mm. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for the new heavens yes. and the new earth, new in earth. which righteousness dwells. Yes. 
Yes. So if we think of what is going to happen, that all this is going to be done away with mm. in preparation for the new heaven and the new earth, yes. in preparation for this becoming the new headquarters mm -hmm. that Professor talked about, yes. what manner of persons ought we to be mm. now? No as we long for being part of that new existence, mm. then it calls that we look up to God mm. to make us righteous, to make us new people, mm. so that we may be able to be part of that new mm. order of things, the new existence oh. that is putting us. Mm. Because he wants to dwell with all this as we know it. Mm. He wants to dwell with the thorns in the rose, so that we now remain with the flower. If the thorns are to remain, they no longer prick us. Mm. But if we are to be part of that, mm. we have to be able to look up to him, to make us righteous as he is. Mm. So righteousness is being called upon for each and every one of us mm. and the dear viewer as we look forward yeah. to that new existence. And that new existence is not talked about probably better than in the book of Revelation. Let's go there. The book of Revelation. Yes. Chapter 21. 21. We'll reflect on that. Mm. And many Bibles have titles and mine says, mm. All Things Made New. Wow, wonderful. All Things Made New. All Things Made New. We'll read a few mm. of the verses there. Chapter 21. And John, mm. let's join John in beholding what he sees. Mm. He says, Now I saw a new heaven mm. and a new earth. Mm. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, mm. and there was no more sea. Mm. Then I, John, mm. saw the holy city, yes. New Jerusalem, uh -huh. coming down out of heaven yes. from God, mm -hmm. prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, yes. and he will dwell with them, mm. and they shall be his people. Wow. God himself will be with them, mm. and be their God. Wonderful. I wouldn't agree more with Prof. Mm. That it's, not, it, it's more than eternal life, but who we are going to be with, yes. he's going to be with us. That's the thing. God who loved us so much, John mm. 3.16, like yes. we've been reading, mm. and sent his own son. Now there will be right with us. You want to be in that new existence mm. where you're with the creator of heaven and earth. And he, who didn't end there but loved us so much when we mm. fell and sent his son. Mm. And now we're going to be with the son. Mm. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Mm. There will be no more what? No more? Yes. Death. Mm. No sorrow, yes. no, no crying. crying. Mm -hmm. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Amen. We get happy at some point because of what has happened in life. Mm. But not long before after that, there is something that causes sorrow, that causes pain. Sure. And then we have another chapter of, of joy, of happiness. Mm. And then something else comes in. You know, God forbid, we wouldn't want another pandemic. But who knows? Mm. We deal with this, but you may, we don't know what is coming ahead of us. True. We deal with this war and conflict, and as soon as we settle it, another one erupts somewhere else. Mm. God is coming to bring all this mm. to a close. Right. But today, he wants to begin by telling us, mm. in the book of uh, Second Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 17 today there's something he wants to begin in our lives mm. even as we look forward to that new existence mm -hmm. because a, a question continues from the writer here mm. that the important question for us is this what does it take mm. to be part of this new existence mm. now that we've gone to the shop and we've seen the great items being sold yes what do we need to buy these items mm. We need an amount in our pockets. Otherwise, it's going to remain on display. Mm. We need what to get it out from the display and we take it home with us. Yeah. So what does it take to be part of this new existence? Mm. How do we get there to this heaven we are talking about? Mm. How can we be sure that we are going to be part of it? What things in my life today mm. may be part 
or rather are going to prevent me from partaking of that eternal life. What things are those? This calls for reflection. In my life, I know of those things that are pulling me down. But today is the day to, to look up to God and say, God, lift me high. Mm -hmm. So, 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, yes. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, mm -hmm. he or she is a new what? A new creation. Yes. Old things have passed away mm -hmm. and all things have become. become. Yes. So today is our day to accept Christ in our hearts. Mm -hmm. That he may begin newness in us. So as we look forward to the new existence that the Lord is preparing for us, mm. the newness will be already in us that mm. begins today, not then, it begins today, and the Lord starts transforming our lives on a daily basis mm. so that we may be partakers mm. of that newness. Amen. Twenty, the transformation is today. Amen. Malimu Mwangi, then shall we know? What is this that we are supposed to know? Yeah, we ask ourselves, you know, what is it that we are supposed to know? And when is this then? Mm -hmm. Because it says, then mm -hmm. shall yes. we know. Mm -hmm. When we look at the then, we are seeing the school of here after. Yeah. You know, the school here of here after. Yes. That is when we shall know. But of course, again, we are asking ourselves, what is it that we shall know? Mm -hmm. Of course, when you look at our lives today, you know, we have so many questions. You know, we get overwhelmed by so many questions. Sure. You know, certain things happen and you ask why, you know, why God, you know, where is God? Mm -hmm. and, you know, why is, is this happening? And imagine all this will be able to, uh, to, know. to know. We ask ourselves, you know, why can't we understand? You know, why can't things be revealed to me mm -hmm. so that at least I know what comes ahead, you know? how to prepare, but all of these things we will get uh, to know, okay? So when we read from the book, Education, page mm. 301, and, uh, and yes. the school year after, mm -hmm. we are told that heaven is a school. Mm. Its field of study, the universe, yes. its teacher, the infinity one. Mm -hmm. A branch of this school was established in Eden mm. and the plan of redemption accomplished. Education will again be taken up in the Eden uh, school. Mm. Of course, we know that th this school was a, you know, a plan of salvation after man had, uh, had sinned. Yes. So in this um, school of hereafter mm -hmm. in the heaven, we will get to know because we are told that when we have eternity to study, yes. you know, we will have eternity to study, mm. then we will get to know. And then no doubt about any mysteries, you know, we will not be left with any mysteries. All these will be resolved. Mm. Those things that we could not comprehend, then we will be able to comprehend. Because, you know, being taught by the, you know, the infinite teacher, mm. you know, God himself, God himself. the creator, wow. the source of all true yes. knowledge. Mm. How can we not know? How can we not know? Yeah, we will get to know. There are two texts there um, I want us uh, to read, and that is First Corinthians 13, verse 12. First mm. Corinthians uh, 13, verse uh, 12. Mm -hmm. Uh, what does it say? First Corinthians. Yes, First Corinthians. Twelve. Uh, thirteen, twelve. Yeah, thirteen, twelve. It says, mm. "Now we see things obscurely, as in a dark mirror, mm -hmm. but then we will see things as they, as they clearly are." Yes. Sir. Now I know God through His Word, mm. but then. I will know him face to face, wow. personally, as he knows me. Mm. You can imagine knowing God mm. personally, personally. As, he, as he knows us. And indeed, it seems it's true that our desire is to meet Jesus Christ, more than just having eternal life. Mm -hmm. That has been said by Joel, Prof, and now you're echoing. Thank you. Yeah, and of course it says that there are three uh, things that are very important that will last forever and that is faith mm. hope and, and love. love faith mm. hope and uh, and and love so 
it is very important to know these things that we will uh, we will get to know we will get uh, to understand okay um, then another text i want us to look at is in first corinthians uh, chapter 4 verse 5 first corinthians chapter 4 verse uh, 5 okay And if you are there, it says, So don't judge others before God's appointed time. Wait until the Lord comes, mm -hmm. and then let him uh, decide. He will bring to light what he's done in darkness, including a man's motives. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we do things and... Uh, you know, people may not really know our oh, motive behind, but imagine that time. You know, even our motives will, you know, will get to will get to know because God will bring that mm -hmm. to light. In that day, every worker will receive his praise from God, mm -hmm. and that's what really counts. You know, it's not how much we have done; it's not who we've helped, but it is when god you know praises us mm. that is what really uh, counts mm. that is what uh, uh, really uh, counts so um it is very important you know to know that although we may ask ourselves then why is god hiding all this until then mm. you know until then you know sometimes it gets so difficult you know to wait until uh, that time of course, I know when we were growing, you know, there used to be uh, so many stories, you know, told about, just to help us learn, you know, patience. You know, uh, one of the common stories we used to be told, you know, there was this man who was going on a trip. Mm. He left a bird, he had covered it somewhere, and then he told, you know, the kids, you know, don't leave to that until I, I come Let back. Me. But you see that curiosity, mm. what happens, they leave to them there the bad you know mm. left so we may ask ourselves will we really you know hold on until then mm. so that we can uh, we can get uh, to know of course we are told it is not um, it is not easy but you know god has given us you know the, the power because when we read uh, uh, philippians 4 13 you know that is a verse we own no mm, another okay. memory was coming in yes we can do all things mm -hmm. through christ, christ who gives us the, mm -hmm. the strength amen. amen yeah so it may seem you know so hard you know to wait but we are told we just need to have faith we just need to hold on we just need to trust in these promises that god has given us we need to live up to the light that has been given to us mm. then Shall we know? Shall we know? Yeah, Amen. Shall thank we you. Uh, only one thing well said. Uh, I, uh, but I think we can also add something. Yes, to that. Carry on. What the professor uh, uh, Carry on. has said. Yes. I think there are two things mm. which I noticed in her reading. Mm. One is that the, the, the school in Eden mm. was a branch of the school in heaven. A branch, an extension. <laughs> we to have extension in Nairobi. Yeah, it was an extension <laughs> of the school in heaven. You yes. see? Uh, Unfortunately, Adam lost it. Uh, then, and it is not a branch, by the way. The school is a, is a branch of the school in heaven. Uh, but in the school of, in heaven, God is the teacher. Eh? Yes. We lost that. Then lost he said that uh, um, Mutunji should be teach. Eh? <laughs> 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 and the branch is the teacher. Yeah. The, yeah. Well, that, that's great. Mm. That's great. So our schools are not just our school. Mm. It's a branch of the school in heaven. Wonderful. We need to understand Wonderful. that. Another thing which I have uh, liked from the verse he has read mm. is that now we don't see very well. We see as if we see in a mirror dimly. Mm. You know the mirror in those days, the time of, they are not like our mirrors. They are like the, 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 uh, the bottle. When you get a bottle and you want to look at someone, mm. you look at him, you see him very well. No. You see dimly. <laughs> at that time we shall see. God face to face. Face to face. Even ourselves, we don't see each other very well. Absolutely. We, see, we don't see. We shall see even each other very uh, well. True. We shall have the physique we are supposed to have. Oh. We shall have the intelligence we are supposed to have. Wonderful. So we shall know each other mm -hmm. better. better. I think that is very fantastic. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Prof. Even as a transition, we want to get real. I do not know if someone has an experience. 
you want to share what you will ask God when you get to heaven. I don't know if, if someone has, you know, something you just want to share on camera and say, this is what I'll ask. Anyone? <laughs> Anyone? Yeah, I'll ask him. Yeah, let, let, listen for me. Where did you stand when you uh, made it? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you measured the, what this earth will be. Uh, yeah, the, the question you asked is Job. For me, I'll ask him that. You have, <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any other? Do you have any other? Faith, it looks like you want to speak? Well, um, I, I don't know why. I've been struggling <laughs> with what I want to ask God. Because mm. I've just been wanting to just thank him. Because hmm. I've looked at how much he bears with me. You know, he says he came down. Mm. Someone who leaves his highest state. Mm. So I, I just want to be like God. I mean, how did you... Mm. Uh, you know, his great love. I just want to appreciate his great love that has been coming for mm. me every other time. Mm. And, and I just bask in it. Mm. We'll take that from Tunji. So we'll not ask a question. We'll give thanks. Mm. I, I just give want to thanks. give thanks. Because I'm amazed. amazed. Uh, so wretched and uh, mm. so sinful. But I see him coming for me every day. No man can do that. That, you know, while people are still sinners, you die for them. I, I want to associate with good people. Mm. I want to be people who have already made it. Mm. I want to associate people who are who look like they have a sign of, of you know, of coming up. Mm. But God is in the business of going down. and looking for me. Going down for me every other time. Mm. Even when I do the worst uh, and I've given up, True. I see him coming. Oh, oh my. Oh, what a God. Pastor Makada, tell us your experience as you carry on with... The school in the hereafter. Our Baraton TV talks of here and mm. hereafter. Mm. And uh, we have gone through this lesson this quarter. Mm. And we get more of true education. Mm. The true education is based in the word of God. The word of God has given us the description of the school hereafter. Mm. The Bible is very clear and has given us a lot of descriptions concerning this heaven. Mm. Prof talked of many heavens when he was beginning. Mm. And now I'm talking of the heaven of heavens. Mm. <laughs> that is where I, 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 I can... Uh. That is where I think I can acquire this uh, school, mm. the, the hereafter school. Okay. So I talk of heaven that the Bible describes. Mm. And I can tell the listener or the viewer that the Bible just gives us a hint, a glimpse, mm. a little about it. Mm. What we can be sure of is there are good things waiting for us there. Mm. Because the verses we've read talk about there will be no more what, sorrows, mm. death. Yes. God crying. is going to wipe out all mm. our tears mm. or wipe away our tears. Yes. And so we can be sure that in that place, it is a place like we can't compare with here. Mm. The education we acquire in Baraton University mm. or University of Eastern Africa Baraton and any other institution worldwide, mm. It's just a limited education that points us to that great education up there. Mm. So that to say that the description given in the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 14 downwards, mm. of this uh, school in the hereafter, yes. include the following. He said unto me, this is the great prophet John talking. Mm -hmm. These are the people who have come safely through the tribulation okay. or terrible persecution. Yes. Describing the kind of people who will be in the school hereafter. Mm -hmm. They are people who have been tested, but they have emerged conquerors. Yes. In fact, more than conquerors. Mm -hmm. And so they are the people who will qualify to be there. And the if I want to qualify to be there, yes. To go beyond this mere education we are getting from here, where we are just filled with glimpses and rumors. Mm. <laughs> Other listener must mm. beware that we must go through this and emerge conquerors. Okay. And the next line gives us the reason why And the why next line conquerors. talks yes. of 
they washed their robes mm -hmm. and made them white yes. with the blood of this great Amen. Lamb of God. Amen. You know, John 3.16, we keep, we keep on repeating this verse because it is great mm -hmm. anyway. Mm -hmm. It talks of whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Mm -hmm. Therefore, these people's robes were washed in the Lamb, mm -hmm. in the blood of the Lamb. And so these people are clean, perfect. It continues by saying, that is why they stand before God, mm. God's throne, and serve him day and night in the temple. He who sits in the throne will protect them with his presence. Never again will they hunger or thirst. This is the description of this hereafter place. Mm. That there is no hunger, there is no thirst. We are satisfied, we are filled. Everything is available. Everything is real. Everything is there to be enjoyed. We need nature that we see today. We will have it real there. And the voices, we need music. We talk of good music is made in Baraton. Mm. Best music, the best music will be made in this place. And the sounds will be coming from nature itself mm. in, heaven. in heaven. You know, the verse 17, the last part talks of, and God will wipe away tears every tear from their eyes the earth is filled with a pain mm -hmm. people weep every now and then mm -hmm. but that place we will be settled we will be all these problems will have been solved let me read something from paragraph two to give support to what i've been reading yes that all our pain all our suffering all the things that we struggle with here come from sin and the, consequ and the consequences of sin. Christ came to undo all that mm -hmm. and he will restore the earth to what God originally had intended it to be before sin entered. In fact, it will be better because amid all these glories, we will forever be, be able to behold scars on Jesus' hand and feet the cost of our redemption mm. that in all these things after all these things salvation will be mm. because by then we will be seated in the at the feet of jesus christ we will be with god all our pains will be gone yes. all everything that we have gone through that is painful will have gone and so we will be enjoying Amen. i want to be in this mm. kind of a place mm. Because this is the place that the education we acquire today should be pointing us to. Mm. And so, will you take it? Mm. That is a big question. Amen. I urge every viewer, mm. I urge every listener, yes. I urge even ourselves who yes. are here, yes, that okay. let us have this one great desire mm. to be in this great city, New Amen. Jerusalem. Amen. God bless. Amen. Yeah, but, um, but, but be, be, before he leaves, mm. some people say that, how can we start the suffering on this earth? Mm. Mm. Then we go to heaven again and suffer in the class. Forever. Yes. Forever. Yes. So, <laughs> what does your Bible say well, about education in heaven? Are we mm. going to suffer again to, to crack mathematics and physics and geography? Uh, there will be no suffering. That's all I know. Wow. <laughs> Every suffering ends here. Mm. And so in that place, it's just enjoyment. Mm. That is where we have God. That is where we have Jesus Christ. That is where we only have the hosts of heaven. Four, uh, I mean, four living creatures and, uh, and the 24 elders. It's a place of enjoyment. Mm. I doubt if there will be another thing tormenting our minds in form of mathematics, etc., etc. Professor, <laughs> talk about it, but I doubt well, uh, I can say uh, Dr. Mangi wants to tell us about it. Yes. Uh, yeah, actually, what, what I would uh, want to say is, you know, looking at what we've just talked about, then shall we know? Yes. Because I can imagine it will be, you know, very interesting because, you know, we'll always be looking out, you know, for new things. Mm. I, I'm just imagining how interesting, you know, the, the the school will be you know mm -hmm. i'm just seeing knowing all these, things, all these things trying to comprehend you know all these things that we're not able mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i don't see any pain there no. i'm just seeing 
you know, very enjoyable kind of, you know, study through eternity. Amen. Yeah. And also I think we, we get pains because our knowledge was blasted. Hmm. It was mad. So it was decreased. Mm. That's true. <laughs> but we shall gain the knowledge. You see. When we see God, wait. we shall gain the God. Mm. That, 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 that knowledge shall I be gained. So mathematics will be enjoyable. Mm. Physics will be enjoyable. Chemistry. Everything will be enjoyable. Biology. Yeah, we are God himself the teacher. We'll, We'll know we'll them get now. It yes. yeah. I can't wait. It will <laughs> be simplified. Yeah, it will be sim it will, no, not even simplified. Okay. Yes. It will be complicated, but also our mind will be complicated. Mm. We shall gain that knowledge, that intelligence that God intended for us. Sure. Just so that we can understand them better. Mm. And where God is the teacher, you know. But that is fantastic. Wasn't, wasn't chemistry and physics invented by man? Mm. And no. everything invented by man will disappear. No, 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 no. They were not invented. Even... <laughs> how, how did God make the earth suspend in the atmosphere? Isn't that physics? Some physics. Chemistry. Chemistry. Chemical? How did you, he planted the water? He planted the plants. Mm. That's chemistry. chemistry. Those are chemicals. Mm, the water. Yeah. yeah. Those are God's yeah. engineering. Every what? true knowledge is God's knowledge. That's right. <laughs> and and you know, you, I would appreciate what faith is talking about yes. because we have been trying to put God's marvels in mm. different subjects. True. Mm. And uh, probably his subject will be one or there will be millions. True. And uh, probably then we may not call it chemistry, mm. but it's going to be wonderful. We mm -hmm. may merge. Yes. All because of them. I, I'm even told. Mm. Well, scientists are here, Prof mm. is a scientist, and mm. many of you are. Mm. I'm told there are many colors we are not even seeing with yes, our yes. eyes, and they are all over the so place. Many. So probably we are going to even have more subjects, or it is going to be one. God is not, God is complicated yet simple. Yes, simple. Uh, but uh, all in all, we are going to be at par in learning. In learning we will right. not be struggling, but we will be continually learning. Uh, eternity, right? Eternity. Actually, Wonderful. we are blind. We don't see many things. <laughs> even the ultraviolet rays, you cannot see them. Mm -hmm. God make, made us blind. So when when we go there, we shall see all those things. Even the angels. Oh. Can you see an angel now? No. Uh, the angels are not here. They're here. Yeah, why are we not seeing them? Because God has made us blind so that we don't see them. Because they are glorious. Mm -hmm. If we see them, we shall even suffer. But that time, that, that, that blindness will go. We shall see things that God created them. Mm -hmm. And I also think that uh, the mentality we have that education is suffering is here on earth. Mm. Absolutely. They will not find education as, mm. as suffering, as a punishment. Rather, it will be enjoyable as doctors. A joy to learn. Yeah. Amen. And maybe just one, one more thing. Mm. Yes. You know, we will be taught by the infinite teacher. Who understands, the who sees, teacher, you know, the, the motives, yes. you know, yes. our hearts. Yes. The you know, we'll mm. see the question even before you ask. And mm. So it will be very it interesting, you know. Mm. Uh, the teacher, you know, here on earth we say, you know, as a teacher, I should be able to scan through the minds of my students, mm -hmm. see the one who is finding, you know, the subject, you know, so difficult, mm -hmm. you know, boring. Mm -hmm. One who has a question, but they don't want to put up their hands. Mm -hmm. But imagine then God will have all this mm -hmm. and will even be trying. Even today we are told that he will answer our prayers when we are still speaking. Mm -hmm. So he knows and will be able to see what really is, you know, is bothering us. He will give us those answers even before we ask the question. Amen. Amen. It's a very great area. Yes, and uh, we can just summarize by saying yes. that 1 Corinthians 2.9 uh, describes it. Mm. That I has not seen, see. mm -hmm. nor ear had, mm -hmm. neither have entered into the heart of a man mm -hmm. the things which God has prepared for Amen. them that love him. Amen. So we, we we may describe, but we still lack the real language to describe it. Mm. Get it from God Himself. Mm -hmm. God is good. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Well said, Sister Faith. You are teaching the making. Do you know the Master Teacher? Mm -hmm. The greatest teacher. Mm. Mm. As Brother Ryu likes to put it the maestro the maestro yeah. the great maestro <laughs> the great ma so even from the discussion we have had i think we have summarized what i was to say mm. about the greatest teacher mm. that is god who knows everything okay in this context we're talking about jesus and from a few verses those are the gospels that is mm. matthew mark mm. luke and john yes matthew 5 2 mm. starts with and he began to teach them Mark 4 2 
I think starts the same way. It says uh, Jesus taught them mm. many things mm. using stories. Mm. Going to Luke yes. nineteen forty seven. It says um nineteen forty seven. It says Jesus taught mm. in the temple every day. Wonderful. Going to John six fifty nine. Mm -hmm. We get there. John six. It just starts the same way that uh, Jesus said all these things while he was teaching mm. in the synagogue. Yes. You see, most people had when they when John the Baptist used to to tell them to prepare a way for the Messiah. People used to believe that the Messiah was just to come to save them, to heal them of their diseases and to perform miracles mm. and that is why most of the people when they were around jesus they realized that he did more of teaching yes. than healing mm. than performing miracles than um doing any other thing feeding them and all that and uh, jesus main work was to give people knowledge yes. just to give them a glimpse of what heaven was like mm. just to give them a hint of what they were missing you see to gain knowledge you don't just sit and knowledge comes to you mm. you have to read and that is why we find jesus as the greatest teacher to ever live okay yes. we may call our teachers the greatest because they teach us we understand mm. we get good grades but jesus was the greatest of them all okay and when we read from the book of zechariah 13 6 mm. it says and one shall say unto him yes. what are those wounds in thine hands mm. then he shall answer those with which i was wounded in the house of my friends mm. when i was reading this verse and i was trying to get what he was trying to mean yes. what what does he mean when he says i got wounded in my friend's house mm. in my friend mm. emphasize the word friend's house yes. and that is a wound you got a wound in your friend what were you doing how did it happen okay mm -hmm. and i realized that when he says he's of in his friend's house mm -hmm. jesus was talking about humanity mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. he took us as his friends yes. not as his disciples or okay not as his um as people he was ruling people. you see god is our father is mm. our king yeah. we look up to him as subjects Indeed. but jesus when he came down he looked at us like friends mm. he looked at us like his mates mm. his fellows True. but what happened we turned around mm. the same people that he called friends mm. stabbed him in the back True. they gave him the wounds mm. and that is just a reminder that Whenever we'll see him in heaven, we we'll know that those are the things we gave him. Those, that is the pay, 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 that is the payback we gave him yeah. for coming down to save us. But all in all, he doesn't keep it in his heart. Mm -hmm. It was it was meant to happen. But rather, right now, when we are reading through the books, we learn that he did that out of great sacrifice. He had the power to when he was on the cross and say no i'm not dying for these people mm. but he died mm -hmm. just so that humanity can snap out of their fantasy that this is jesus mm. he has done this for us and when we read from the book of the great controversy yes. page 678 mm. it says the great controversy is ended mm. sin and sinners are no more the entire universe is clean one pulse of harmony and gladness beats through the vast creation from whom who created all flow life and light and gladness throughout the rims of illimitable space from the minutest atom to the greatest world mm. all things animate and inanimate in their unshadowed beauty and perfect joy declare that god is love, god is love. this is what will happen mm. in the hereafter world mm. This is what will happen after 
this is what we'll I think this is what we'll find out mm. in what in the verse the the verse in First Corinthians which say eyes have not seen mm. neither have the ears heard mm. nor entered into the heart of man. Yes, mm. this is now what we'll find mm. that it is great. Great. Of course, we are trying to picture how it will look like how it, but you may never. Know. True. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe we'll be dressing in gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we uh, you'll just be saying meal you know my young sister says when i go to heaven i'll just stand like this and say milk and mm-hmm. it will come and it's <laughs> you're trying to imagine how it, you just go like this and find honey mm-hmm. when right now you mm-hmm. can't find it so, okay amen. so that this is what we are anticipating mm-hmm. from the greatest teacher when when we are like right now when we are being taught to be a teacher we are told that there are outcomes that you expect. Mm-hmm. As a teacher, there are some things that your student expects from you. Mm-hmm. And f- and you, there are some things you expect from your students. But now in this situation of the greatest teacher, there are some things that we anticipate from the greatest mm-hmm. teacher. Mm-hmm. Okay? There are some things we will find out. Mm-hmm. Okay? Very, very good things mm-hmm. I may put them. Yes. Hey, thank you for pointing us to the great teacher. Mm-hmm. It is our prayer that you may be like him. Amen. Professor Baliage, let us hear the conclusion of the matter. Yes, thank you so much, sir. We thank God. We thank God. Because indeed. he's creating the new heaven mm-hmm. and the new earth. Mm-hmm. Right. Where the lion <laughs> will eat with the lamb, will eat grass. Yeah, and the young lamb will eat grass. Mm-hmm. Okay. You see? Where well, the young child will play with the snake and put mm. from the hole and like this and put Good. around. It will not bite. Fantastic. Mm. The ants will not fight anything. Ah. Okay? Mm. Where well, there will be an enemy, no enmity. The Mzunku and the black man will st- sit in the same house and talk together. Mm. There will be no Mzungu, there will be no black. All of us will be Christians. True. God's people there. Yeah. You see, where the trees will not be eaten by ants, mm. life will be different, green everywhere. Mm. You see, uh, and uh, as we have read that we shall see and we shall enjoy what we have never even thought about or mm. not even imagined. You see, that's what, you know, God does not want us to tell us mm. what is there because you cannot understand. True. So he tells us what we can understand. He created the heaven, he created the stars. <laughs> because you can see the stars and the, yes. the trees and the grass, yes. and you can see the earth suspending in the air. But you see, there's more that God has for us. Mm. Okay? And this lesson says that human language is inadequate to describe the reward of the righteous. You know, someone has said gold, you know? Mm. I read, I think it was the last night, yes. I, read, I read where they say, that um, uh, it, it was an imaginary story. Okay. Someone wanted to go to heaven, so when he went to at the airport, mm. they checked what he has. They checked. Eh? Mm. They said, what did you have? Mm. He said, uh, I have something I want to go to heaven. Please let me go with it. Then uh, the, the person at the airport checked and said, what are these? You know, they were just um, the bars of gold, the bars of gold. He said, well, these are just stones <laughs> on, on the road. <laughs> Why do you carry stones on the road? <laughs> Which means that heaven has more precious than these. Sure. Even what we think is very precious, not precious. Mm. People shall be rich. They shall be rich. Mm. But we should remember that we shall build our houses we live in them. Mm. Which means that they will be secure. No one, no one will come and at uh, Nyanganya eh? mm, and, yeah. and, and, and take our things away from mm. us. They will be ours forever. Mm. There will be security. We shall own our own things, we shall build the way we want to build mm. with those, those, that, that new intelligence. Mm. Okay, we shall work, they will work and, and enjoy what we have worked for. God is great. Yeah, yeah. And these are things he is preparing for us. Mm. And he said that only those who will go there will understand mm. what God has. Wow. Yeah. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Mm. And it will be Merry Christmas when we go to heaven. Yes. Merry New Year. When you go to heaven, True. we hope we shall reach there. Amen. 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 Indeed, it is our desire and our longing to be there. I pray the Lord may help us. Heaven is a school. Dr. Mwangi has told us that its field of study is the universe. And the teacher is the infinite one. Mm. Education was established in Eden. Unfortunately, our first parents chose the wrong teacher. 
that we are told that the plan of redemption was laid even from the foundation of the world. Right. Once education has accomplished its objective of restoring us back to the image of our Creator, mm. education will again be taken up to the Eden School. We pray to meet you in heaven. Amen. Numbers chapter 6, verse 24 to 26. The Bible says, May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. At this Amen. moment, we'll have our closing prayer from the Lord. Okay, we are praying. Loving Father in heaven, we want to thank you so much. We want to thank you for the many lessons we have uh, learned throughout this uh, quarterly. And Lord, our prayer is that when you come the second time, Lord will be uh, ready and prepared to meet you so that we can study in the school of here and the year after. Mm. Bless us for this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you.